is going on everybody welcome back to the channel saturday morning we're dropping another neo update or i guess whenever you're gonna see this video saturday evening saturday afternoon doesn't really matter but it is worth noting that it's a beautiful day outside and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go out there and i'm going to enlighten people on the wonders of neo stock but with that being said what we're going to do in this video is we're going to review a comment made by elon musk that shows how bullish he is on chinese electric vehicles more specifically neo now this comment when i first saw it really changed the way i thought about neo versus tesla and if you're an og subscriber then you might have heard me talk about this not too long ago i figured let's go ahead and talk about this right now because this is the best time for me to go ahead and make this video because a lot of you guys in the comments section are kind of getting doubtful and are a bit skeptical about holding neo long term i'm not telling you what to do this is an investment advice but what i am going to show you is in this video i'm going to give you my perspective and hopefully elon musk's perspective as well this is definitely a super interesting topic but before we go ahead and get into this one thing i do need to know here go ahead and subscribe to the channel Currently, I do work a job that requires me to work even more than a 9 to 5 on most days. So I do have to find the time to make these YouTube videos. And these videos definitely can take up a lot of time, especially when you're doing daily stock updates on NEO to give you guys the news. So it would be much appreciated if you guys can just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys watching these videos regularly and repeatedly aren't currently subscribed so just go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button it's free it doesn't cost you and it'll make you want to keep on making these updates more and more but also to you guys that are already subscribed to my channel to the og subscribers i've been seeing you guys down there in the comment section for a while now and i've been seeing a lot of you guys down there comment from even some of my older videos keep on commenting on my videos thank you guys so much for the support it doesn't go unnoticed and it's really appreciated i just had somebody comment on my previous videos i think it was ray ray said that he always just shares my videos on stock twits and i know there are some of you other guys out there that share my videos on facebook or reddit and for that it's much appreciated thank you guys so much so that that's all on that i'm done talking about that let's just go ahead and get into what elon musk had to say and then after i'm going to give you the analysis which is more important because we got to sit down and actually break down his comments elon musk is limited and he can only say so much in public because every comment he makes is going to make you know stock markets fly we've already seen this is what is doing with dogecoin so he's very careful about what he says but him just saying this is 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 big news as it is so let's go ahead and get into this comment and then give you guys the analysis okay so recently the ceo of business insider's parent company axel springer just recently sat down with tesla ceo elon musk and they had an entire discussion about why Tesla would be at the forefront of the self-driving car revolution. So the interviewee asks Elon Musk, do your incumbents have a fair chance of playing a role in the kind of competitive ecosystem or is it too late for them? And Elon's answer back was, it's definitely not too late. We are seeing a significant movement towards electrification from Volkswagen and a lot of the Chinese companies are very, very, very 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 fast <laughs> i would guess the most competitive company for tesla might be a company that was created in china the market there is extremely competitive they have some very good companies and they work super hard but at this point all the major companies if not 80 percent then 90 percent have said they're moving quickly towards electrification now there is a lot of weight behind that one comment and i know what you guys are probably thinking you're thinking hey wait hold up Nowhere in that comment did Elon Musk specifically say NEO. Now, my response to that is, it's obvious that he's not literally going to say NEO on the interview. He just would never in a thousand years do that. Him just making this comment is extremely surprising alone. It's not difficult for you to bridge the gap that he's obviously talking about NEO. There is no other company that has grown as fast as NEO on pretty much all fronts. Throw the stock price out the window. Even though 
the company's stock price has grown 2000% over the past year. That's not necessarily a good way to gauge the actual actual business, which is what Elon's talking about. The stock price for any company in general is almost completely irrelevant. Elon Musk calls the stock market a manic depressive. And what he means by that is the stock price is going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, and it's going to be extremely volatile at times. If you're gauging the stock market as a reflection of how a company is doing, then that's not the right way to look at things. The business can be doing extremely well, and for some reason the stock might be down you know, 10, 20, 30% for no real reason at all, just because people woke up and they felt a certain way or some maybe article came out. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily tie completely to the business, but the stock will be down. We're not even talking about stock price. Forget the fact that NEO stock is up 2000%. We're talking about NEO's business organically has grown the fastest out of any other EV company. And you can quote me on that. The reason being, if you look at NEO in 2019, nobody had really even heard of the company. The company was on the brink of bankruptcy. And I'm not even saying this as a joke or I'm not even being, I'm, I'm definitely not exaggerating here. The reason why I say this is because NEO had literally no cash. They were operating at a loss, which that's not even the worst part because companies that are this early in the production stage tend to operate at a loss, but NEO pretty much didn't really have any visibility into growth and they didn't know if they're going to be a major player in the EV market. The biggest problem of all though, was that they didn't have the means to do what they wanted. The company's liabilities were far greater than its assets and they didn't have much room for growth. You fast forward now to 2020 and it's a completely different company. You wouldn't even recognize them. The company has billions of dollars on ca of cash on its balance sheet and it went from just a few hundred deliveries in the beginning months of 2020 to all the way to over 7,000 deliveries in December 2020 alone. If this doesn't spell out growth, then I don't know what else will. Elon Musk was 100% talking about Neo when he made that comment. And not to mention, Neo is also probably the closest EV company to assemble its own EV ecosystem. And that's exactly what's going to put it in competition directly with Tesla. Now, at this point, I hope I've convinced you that he's 100% talking about Neo. If you're on board with that, then let's get into the next part of the video. If you're not, then I don't know. But now let's get into probably the more important part of this video. What does this comment actually mean? So if you followed Elon Musk for even just the past year, you know that Elon is pretty much not going to promote anything that is against Tesla. Tesla's growth is obviously going to be his primary concern. By making a comment like this, he might boost a lot of people's confidence in Chinese companies maybe over Tesla. And, and at first, I don't understand why he would even make this comment because if a Chinese company like Neo is able to capture more and more of the EV market share, then that's going to be a big trouble for Tesla because that's less consumers for Tesla and that's going to be ultimately less profit for Tesla to make, which is ultimately going to dictate how good of a te company either Tesla or Neo can become is how much profit they can produce in the EV market space. Now, that's kind of always been my framework for thinking. How I think about this is who can actually control the EV market, China or Tesla? This comment completely changed the way I view things because that's not how Elon sees it. And if he doesn't see it that way, then why am I looking at it like that when, he, when he's literally the one driving Tesla forward? And that kind of made me think that then why would he have made this comment? By him making this comment, that shows that he's not thinking in terms of Tesla versus Neo. His thinking in terms of Tesla and Neo, And that's where I didn't really see things clearly, but it makes more sense now that I'm thinking about it. It was never really Tesla versus Neo, And I've been guilty of making videos like that in the past. And I know a lot of YouTubers have made a bunch of videos like that. But really this race is Tesla and Neo. They're both going to get to the finish line and they're both going to gain tons of market share. The market in general we've seen right now is way bigger than we expected. Both, both analysts from JP Morgan and Wedbush Securities have constantly said that, hey, the EV market just in China alone is way bigger than we've thought. 
And JP Morgan in particular said this market will quadruple by 2025. And now even the crazier statistic out of everything is that only 4% of the vehicles on the road today are electric vehicles. If So the point of these statistics is to show you that there is a lot of pie to go around for both NEO and Tesla. And if they just successfully continue to do what they're doing, grow and gain market share, there is both going to be a lot of profit for each of these companies. So it was never Tesla versus NEO. It's Tesla and NEO. The reason being also is because as NEO grows, Tesla will also grow. Because as NEO grows, they're obviously going to implement more and more infrastructure in China. And as Tesla grows, they're going to also implement their own infrastructure, more charging stations, more efficient charging. These companies constantly spend billions of dollars every year into R&D to see who can come up with the most efficient battery. But this technology is just going to help each of these companies in general. It's going to be kind of like a mind share where as one company discovers something, then another company will also profit from this. And they're going to be able to complement each other. So this race is never one versus the other because as because now as you have more infrastructure in place, more charging stations, faster charging, people will adopt electric vehicles more quickly. And this is what Elon Musk is saying. These companies, because China's growing very rapidly, he doesn't see it as competition. He sees that as China grows and their consumer base also adopts electric vehicles, this will directly benefit Tesla. And at the end of the day, both companies are going to do well because people are switching from gas vehicles to electric vehicles. And with NEO's growth and Tesla's growth, there's going to be more infrastructure in place for electric vehicles. And me personally, one of the biggest reasons that I'm currently against owning an electric vehicle is because of the lack of infrastructure. Because I need to constantly think about the paranoia of always having my vehicle charged, how much range I can get off that charge, where can I go, where is the next charging station? And these concerns will just ease over time as NEO and Tesla become more successful. This is what Elon was saying with his comment. Chinese electric vehicle companies are growing very fast and that's not necessarily a problem for Tesla. These companies complement each other and just because one of them is growing does not mean it's problematic for another. So I hope that made sense for you guys. And I hope that you guys are at least thinking about this. I know originally before I went over this interview, I was thinking in terms of Tesla versus Neo, and that's completely not the right way to think about it, at least in my opinion now. Hope you guys took something away from this. If you found this video useful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.